how much does it cost to charge the Nexon EV, what are the different methods through which you can charge the vehicle and most importantly, what is the time that each of these methods consume. Well, if you have all these queries in your mind, then that's the main reason why we are doing this video with the Nexon EV. Let's get started with the home charging at the beginning. So coming to the most commonly used charging method, which happens to be the charging the Nexon EV to the 15 amp socket. So as you can see here, this is the setup that Tata Motors and Tata Power will set up at your house if you buy the Nexon EV. So if we open this, you will be having a 15 amp socket and a MCB plug. And this is the cable that you will be getting with the vehicle. So what you have to do is remove this black cap from the charging port, make sure the switch is off and plug it into the vehicle. Once you make sure that the socket is in position, you should have to just turn on the switch here and the vehicle will automatically start charging. Along with the charger, the company will also be providing you this adapter which will show the status of the current being supplied to charge the vehicle, what is the charging status and most importantly, it will also indicate if there is any issue with the earthing. In ideal condition, the first two lights will be glowing constantly and the third light will be blinking if the vehicle is charging. Once the vehicle is fully charged, even the third light will start to continuously glow. If you see the green lights, it indicates that there is no issue with the charging. If you see the blinking of red light in this adapter, then ensure to switch off the charging port immediately and reach out to the service center or call the Tata Motors toll free number for further assistance. Once the vehicle starts charging, you will be able to confirm the same through the 7 inch MID display inside the vehicle. Here you will be able to know the battery percentage, charging status, range remaining along with the time that is required to fully charge the vehicle. Speaking about the time that is required to charge the vehicle through this 15 amp plug at your house, you would need about 8.5 hours to charge the vehicle from 10% to 90% and about 9 hours to 9.5 hours to fully charge the vehicle. If you have a look at the cost of charging the Nexon EV at home, you will be spending somewhere around 180 to 230 rupees for one full charge depending on the tariff fixed by your local power supply unit. Now that you have found out that the vehicle is fully charged, what you have to do is just come back to the switchboard, switch off charging port. Once you turn off the switch, just ensure that you give a break of 10 to 15 seconds and remove the gun from the charging port. And just if in case you want to charge the vehicle on the go, just make sure you have this cable all the time in your boot so that you can use any of the 15 amp plug available to charge the vehicle and juice up the battery and travel that extra bit of distance. Now that you saw how to charge the vehicle at home, let's see how the fast charger works. So this is the fast charger setup that has been put up by the Tata Power and it's available at almost all of the Tata Motors dealership. So it's a 25 kilowatt hour unit and there will be two plugs here. So what you have to do is remove the gun, open the fuel lid, open the bottom one, plug it in just like that. But how do you know where is the nearest fast charger? Well, to find that out, Tata Motors have the Tata Power EZ app where all the details such as the fast charging location, status of the facility, how far is it located from your current location is mentioned. If it's your first time charging the Nexon EV at the Tata Motors fast charger, you would have to first register yourself on the app. So here is what you have to do. First up, open the Play Store or the App Store on your mobile phone and install the Tata Power EZ Charge app. Once the download is complete, click on the sign up option and this will prompt you to enter the details such as your name, contact number, email ID along with your area pin code. Later, enter the password and click on the sign up option after reading and agreeing to the terms and conditions of the app. Once you sign up, you will have to enter the OTP that you would have received on the mobile number that you used for the registration. In the next step, just enter the make as Tata Motors, select the Nexon EV option under the models and ensure to update your vehicle registration number along with the chassis number or the VIN number of your vehicle. Once you have the app and ensure that the charging gun is inserted correctly, you can scan the QR code available on the charging box right next to the charging gun. Before initiating the charging, make sure to first add the amount in your Tata Power Wallet or link your Paytm account. In order to demonstrate the charging process, I will be linking my Paytm account. Once the account is linked, you will also be able to select the default payment methods here. Since I want to use the Paytm payment option, I will be selecting the same here. In some cases, the charging might not be initiated through this process. 
Therefore, you can also use the alternative method which I'll be demonstrating to you right now. When you are on the home screen, click on the three dots which will reveal the list of charging stations near you. Here, you would have to select the charging gun through which you want to charge the vehicle. Next up, you will be asked if the gun is inserted to the charging port. At this point of time, make sure that you do not insert the gun into the charging port and then click on the proceed button. If you connect the gun into the charging port and proceed with the charging, then there might be a chance of vehicle failing to charge. Therefore, ensure that the gun is not inserted in this stage. In this step, enter the basis on which you want to charge the vehicle and click on estimate. It's at this stage that you would have to insert the gun into the charging port of your vehicle. Once the gun is inserted, you can click on the proceed option. Soon after, the charging will be initiated. Once the charging starts, you will be able to know the charging status, battery level, number of units consumed along with the time that is needed to charge the vehicle to the desired level. Even the same can be verified through the 7 inch MID in your vehicle. Speaking about the price, Tata Power currently charges 18 rupees for every kilowatt of charge consumed. This would sum up to about 630 rupees to fully charge the Nexon EV including the 18% tax. So coming to the next fast charging option available which happens to be the fast chargers set up by the local power supply unit. Since I am in Bangalore, the Bestcom has set up these kind of fast chargers at various locations in Bangalore. So in order to show you, it's similar to the process what we followed at the Tata Motors dealership. Just take the charging gun, insert it into the charging port. Once the charging gun is in place, wait for some time, scan the QR code make the payment and you are good to charge the vehicle. That's how simple it is. In order to use the fast chargers of Bestcom, you will need to download the Electrify app and follow the registration process and make the payment so that the charging can be initiated. Once the charging is complete, make sure to wait for 90 seconds and you are good to continue your journey towards the next destination. Speaking about the price, Bestcom is currently charging 8 rupees for every kilowatt of power consumed. Irrespective of the charging method used, it is vital to ensure that you give a break of 10 to 15 seconds before removing the charging gun from the port. This is to ensure that the charging gun doesn't get stuck inside the port. So these were the three methods through which you can easily charge the Nixon EV. If you have any other queries, then drop them in the comment section below and we would be happy to answer all of them. If you have found this video to be useful, then make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel by clicking on the Autotown logo on your screen so that we can create more such content. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video and we'll see you in the next one.